Park. Grand Haven State Park is quintessential West Michigan. It is, when I think of West Michigan, I think of Lake Michigan. I think of a giant beach. Uh, there's a little touristy town that's nice to hang out in. There's just a lot of things here that, that scream it's summertime. It's very in West Michigan. Michigan. <laughs> and, and summertime in West Michigan. Uh, yeah. It's not a big state park, um, but the whole point of coming to this place is the beach. <laughs> Oh yeah, I think pretty much that is literally the only reason that you come to this park because that's all there is. I mean, even the campground is on the beach. So you wanna to go to the beach, this is your park. Yeah, it's one of those campgrounds that we've been at before where we will mention that uh, there's gonna be sand and you'll need a broom. <laughs> uh, you'll need to sweep your children and your pets off regularly as well as your floor. Uh, but yeah, there are, I didn't realize until we got here today actually that there are campsites in the campground that are parked right up to the beach like you oh literally on walk the off beach. the back of your site and you're on the beach so if that's what you want to be doing then that's a great spot to be yeah i would definitely want to get one of those spots but i'm pretty sure that those people are like johnny on the spot on their computers at six months to the minute before they if that's the only way you're going to get those i'm sure if you want those specific sites yeah, oh, they're, yeah. they're good size sites I and mean, there's plenty of big rigs out here there's 50 amp service at a number of them especially the ones along the beach but the campground itself is essentially just a flat giant parking lot. Yeah, right. <laughs> very few trees. There's very little shade. If you want to run on solar, you're good to go. Uh, but it is just a giant parking lot. But that's not why you're here. You're not here for the campground so much as you are. The campground is a place to set up camp so that you can come to the beach. beach. Uh, you can maybe take the boardwalk into town, you know, out to the lighthouse, out to the pier and see the lighthouses. Yeah. It's funny because I think this would be a state park for me. But yet, and there's almost too many people here for me. Like, I, I love the beach. I live at the beach. Totally would live at the beach. Could just camp here all summer long. But yet, it's just, it's just packed. It's crowded. I think the, the, I know the campground's full. The parking lot's pretty much full. This is a park, though, but they will shut it down and not let anybody else in because there's, they run out of room. And, and I've heard from people that you end up just having to, like, circle Grand Haven and try to find street parking or wait for somebody to leave. Uh, before they'll let you in because there's, you know, they've just run out of room. It's that popular. Well, and that's really saying something when you look at the size of the parking lot they have here for the day use area for the beach parking is huge. And to think that it, it fills up and they yeah. close it down is kind of crazy, but that's a lot of people. It's a really good park for families though. Mm -hmm. And I noticed like the, the campground has um, some playscapes in it. There yeah. are playscapes on the beach. There's volleyball nets on the beach. Now there happens to be a volleyball tournament going on today. So it's even more than usual. But there's all kinds of stuff here to do. It's very much a, a beach community. There are picnic tables and grills and just a great way to spend the day on the beach or a weekend or a week if it was you. Or, or the whole summer. I mean, why not? In terms of other amenities here, uh, we've mentioned the grills and the picnic tables, but there's also a nice bathhouse, as well as if you're looking for food, there are some food trucks on site. Um, not a whole lot of options, but just a couple. Otherwise, bring your own. Um, lots of people here with picnics, and so I think that's just something to keep in mind, though. But you're definitely not going to leave and come back during the day to just run into town for food. So make sure you pack a lunch or bring some money for the, the food trucks. I'm standing here on the pier at the historic Grand Haven Lighthouse. Constructed in 1839, it has seen a lot. Um, it's a really cool structure. It's actually one of the most famous and well-photographed lighthouses that you've probably seen it in calendars or in photographs all over the world. It's just, it's extremely popular and definitely a place that a lot of people like to come visit. The Grand Haven Lighthouse is actually two parts. There are two separate lighthouses, one right on the end of the pier and one in the middle. And as we said, it was built in 1839, so it's been here for well over 100 years, guiding people who come in from Lake Michigan into uh, the channel here, which is actually the output of the Grand River. Uh, the Grand River traverses pretty much through the, from the southern part of Michigan all the way over to Lake Michigan. And this is the exit point. This is a really popular place for a lot of people to come with their boats. As you can see behind us, it's uh, been a really popular place all day for just people going out on the water to people going fishing and, you know, and everything in between. While the pier is open to the public, you have to remember it's actually designed for navigational purposes, not recreation. So it is a gorgeous place to come out and take pictures, but you do have to be aware of your surroundings. It can get really slippery, especially when the boats go through because the waves crash up onto the boardwalk. And unfortunately, there have been a lot of drownings here over the years. So you just have to be very mindful of what's going on 
don't you know go out too far be careful of the weather watch your step and but enjoy it i mean it is a really nice place to be out here and i encourage you to come take a look if you happen to be in the area what's really neat about the lighthouses and the pier is that it's right next to the state park so you can just walk over from the beach or the campground and come out here it also connects to the boardwalk that goes into the city of Grand Haven. I think it's about a half mile to a mile into downtown, making it easily accessible no matter where you're staying and how you want to get here. This whole beach and the lighthouse, everything has been here for a really long mm. time. I think what, mid 1800s for the lighthouses? Yeah, 1839 for the lighthouse and early 1900s uh, for the state park. Well, actually it was a city park first and then in about 1920, the city sold or leased it off to the state uh, to be used as a state park. Um, they did keep a few portions or a few acres of lands just south of the state park for a city park. Um, but over the years, uh, what was originally the 22 acre Grand Haven State Park is now 48 acres, still relatively small in terms of state park acreage. Um, but they're kind of locked in here between the Grand River and the Channel, the city park, private residences across the street and Lake Michigan. So there's really not a whole lot of room to expand, but I mean, it's a gorgeous, you know, bright sandy beach. So that's really what you're here for. Yeah, and the 20 to 30 acres, it is now 48. I'm assuming all that extra acreage is parking lot. No I don't think that's what they did. They, they got every bit of land that they could and they paved it so that you had some place to park all of these cars. Uh, but I think that's, but yeah, overall yeah. it's a very small park. It's the campground and the beach, which are almost one unit. Oh, pretty much. Yeah. <laughs> uh, I mean, there, there's very little delineation between where the campground and the beach end and start and, you know, so. So it's a place you have to be willing to put up with people, but it's worth it if you don't mind that because there's, it is, it could be a lot of fun out here. It's a great beach. It's a great park. You can go out on the pier. You can go into town. This is a very, a lot of people will talk to me and say, oh, I love Grand Haven. Yeah, I'm yeah. here all the time. And you know, it's a little crowded for me usually, but I can see the draw that people would want to come here. It'd be a great place to check out if you haven't been here. I think so. Uh, growing up in the Lansing area, most of my friends came here. It was, you know, maybe an hour and a half to two hour drive from Grand Ledge where I grew up. And this was definitely the place where all the high schoolers came in the summer. I mean, we had summer vacations off, so you'd pile some friends in a car on a Tuesday and drive over to Grand Haven for a few hours and then drive home. I mean, it was a it's probably one of the closest state parks or beach beach state parks, I guess, to where we grew up. And so, yeah, it was a very popular place for people to come. So if you want to come out for the day and enjoy the beach, go for it. If you want to camp here, make your plans early, <laughs> get your reservations. But whatever you decide to do, keep on trucking. And we'll see you out there.